Richard Arnold, good morning. Good morning, Mike. So Broadway's back. It's all on in New York. Well, soon, yeah. Uh, they're saying now that uh, this country's just hit another vaccine marker. 60% of Americans now having received at least one vaccine shot. So uh, way to go yet. But the US, which was doing so very badly, you're talking about the history of this, when the coronavirus hit with some of the worst outbreaks anywhere in the world, now is doing so very much better in New York, which again was one of the virus hotspots early on, as everyone knows. More than half of adults now are fully vaccinated and they plan to lift their mask requirements from tomorrow, says the governor, Andrew Cuomo. If you are vaccinated, uh, you are safe. No masks, no social distancing. Well, the governor, who, shall we say, hasn't <laughs> been at the centre of much good news of late, says also... We have to reopen. We have to reopen smart. We have to reopen with a cautious eye. But we have to get back to life. Well, California is taking an entirely different tack. California's Governor Gavin Newsom also has been under fire for his COVID approach, but says he will keep the mask orders in effect for another month in hopes that all restrictions can be lifted by the middle of June. New York's shifting on masking means, well, a whole raft of things. New York City's marathon is returning. The 24-hour subway is back, all of that. But to mask or not to mask has become a challenging issue for many. How do you know if the person right next to you is vaccinated. That's what New Jersey's Governor Phil Murphy is worried about. I don't know how we can expect workers to be able to tell who is vaccinated from who isn't. Well, that could be where uh, business owners come in. They're taking a whole range of decisions. Will there be separated areas where folks have to show a card when they walk through the front door. Going to be interesting, isn't it? Meantime, US has been criticised for its slow response in helping in the global vaccine drive. They've now promised some 80 million vaccine doses. Critics say that's not nearly enough. President Biden has just pledged that 20 million doses of the vaccines will be sent overseas by the end of June in the face, of course, of the warning that this pandemic isn't done with until it's over for everyone. Speaking of interesting, Conservative Court, Roe v Wade. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, for nearly 50 years, the US Supreme Court, highest court in America, has said that abortion is legal. That ruling opened the way for other countries to allow legal abortion as well. Here, about two-thirds of Americans say they want to keep it that way. That's what the polls suggest. But former President Trump said he was pro-life during the election campaign. He made no secret of that, whether he really is or whether that was simply politics from the appeal to the conservative South. Doesn't matter too much, does it? Because they've now locked in that solidly conservative court majority. The Supreme Court now says it will review a case where Mississippi says they want to ban all abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. That, they say, is based on new science about the development of a fetus. Court watchers say, you know, you can't uphold that state move without... Um, cutting back and perhaps entirely uh, reversing Roe. Uh, last year, the Supreme Court struck down a Louisiana abortion law by five to four with the conservative Chief Justice John Roberts siding with the then liberal faction saying that Roe was court precedent. But that was before Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died right before the last elections with Justice Amy Coney Barrett replacing her. Barrett being someone who for a long, long time has been very outspoken against abortion Right. The court now will hear this case starting in October. They're expected to deliver their decision by around the middle of next year. Whatever they decide, yeah, going to be a legal landmark. Catch up on Friday, mate. Appreciate it. Richard Arnold in the States. Just before we leave America, this uh, growing issue that Biden's got over welfare and handing out too much of it, there are now 21 states at least who've decided over the past week to uh, prematurely cut off that. Uh, so you get your various benefits and state and federal benefits and uh, unemployment assistance, and then Biden threw 300 on top. And then the job numbers came out the other day. They were expecting a 1,000 jobs, sorry, a million jobs. They got 266,000. And a number of states, well, the, the reason for that is no one can be bothered working because they're getting so much federal assistance from people like Biden. So, so far now, we've got Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia and Wyoming, all ending it early. They've only got 50 states, almost half of them are bailing from the program. What does that tell you? Nothing but sports. Join Darcy Waldegrave on the biggest hour of sports. It's Sports Talk, 7 to 8 p.m. Tuesday to Friday. Opinion and interviews. All the sport you can handle. Listen and follow on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. News Talk ZB. It's all about the 80s. The 80s. The best music era ever. Listen and follow now on iHeartRadio.